All right, so I've just been reflecting on the different types of mushroom farms that I'm finding here in, in Xinyuan. And from what I can tell, you basically have three types of mushroom farms, right? So you have the high mountain mushroom farms that are really great, small production, grow in very nice environments. And you have the, the sort of tuk tuk things coming past because I'm on the side of the road here. And then you have, um, go guy. And then you have the mass scale, like huge scale, you know, all perfectly conditioned environments, um, you know, temperature controlled, regulated by computers, um, solar powered. I mean, it's absolutely wonderful. And then you kind of have this third type, which is this type, which is basically on the side of the road and rubbish everywhere, polluting the locals. There's like a stream just next to here, polluting it like crazy, right? So this is the three that you've got. And this is the reality of the area. You know, you come here and you see hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these absolutely dilapidated um, farms that are just ruining the environment. It's this pristine mountain area. And then you've got all these farms just basically just putting pollution into the atmosphere. But further up the mountain, You've got these big, beautiful facilities, state of the art. And then even higher up in the mountain, you have this, uh, this uh, you know, small scale farm. So the question is, which mushroom do you use? Which one do you have? Which is the best for not only for you, but for the people that are here, um, for the community that, 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 that grow them, for the history of the medicine, for the history of the mushroom, for the Dao Di Yao Chai? Of the, the of the of the of this particular mushroom, right? So this is the Daudi Yao Chai of Sha, of um, Shiitake, right? The Dao, the original growing region for Shiitake, and people are very proud about that. Now the government will support people to build big facilities, and they'll they'll, they'll support less the smaller facilities. But the question is, who do you support, and how do you support them? You know, if you support these small scale these small scale farms they've got no regulation. They're just going to put the rubbish wherever they can or they're just going to go out of business because everyone's competing with them and then everything just tin and plastic and you name it just gets put into the ecosystem and pesticides and it's just disgustingly horrible. That's very unfortunate. Poverty sucks and, and that's the situation. So you support the big companies and you say, well, this is all, you know, like it's, and they get, it, they get the organic certification and they're like, cool, okay, we got our organic certification. But you're like, oh, it's, it's mass production, blah, blah, blah. It's like mass production. Well, yeah, it's mass production, but it's safe. You know, you have transaction certification. You get, it gets you all the way from the farm, from the grower to you. There's no exploitation. It's regulated. It's clean. It's healthy. They have environmental policies put in place that protect the ecosystem around them. They encourage tourism to the area. They help education. This company we were just talking to is now like, you know, building a center where people can come and pick their own mushrooms. This is awesome, right? And they're in it to make money, but everyone's in it to make money. These guys are still in it to make money. Everyone is in it to do that, right? So, and then the third, the third, the third person at the top of the hill, right? Who doesn't have those things and that's good, you know, and we should support those people. We need to encourage them to get organic certification help them get organic certification, help them get transaction certification. But, but we have to test them and we have to get them independently tested and they have to be certified organic for multiple reasons. One, transaction certification from the farm. That means that whatever I say you're buying, it is actually that thing, right? It, it, the farm's been inspected. It's come to the, it's come to the supplier. The supplier so follows the whole chain, the logistics chain until it basically gets to the person who puts it into their mouth. This is organic certification. It's not about mass production. It's about traceability and transparency. Okay. And then, um, and the other thing is testing, right? You can have uh, farms that still have some sort of pesticide residue in the atmosphere, in the air, because of this stuff, right? Because of this next to me, right? This is what causes the problem. It gets into the water stream, gets into the air, goes up the mountain, dumps as clouds, gets down to the water stream, gets in the water table, causes, pe causes pesticides in the product. So we need to test them. We need to test them by the manufacturer or by the supplier or 
um, you know, from the source, but you have to be taught testing the source material. You can't be testing an extract because after that, if it's an extract, you can do whatever you want. You can dupe this, you can basically add this and add that and just flush out and dilute the amount of pesticides are in it and then the test, test results are positive. This is what happens, believe it or not, this is what happens. On top of that, you need to have an independent test, right? So what you're doing with the independent testing is it's not on the company. So it's not on your supplier saying, hey, 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 trust me. It's on a completely independent, it's got no vested interest in whatsoever to do that testing for you. So organic certified, which means transaction certification, which means trans, trans <laughs> transparency and traceability, right? Pesticide tests from the suppliers, certificates of analysis showing the region, showing the growing conditions, showing the moist, right? Heavy metal testing, all that sort of stuff. Then independent testing of that. If any of these steps are missed out, if they're not considered, or if they're not considered by, by your supplier, you know, what you're doing is you potentially, potentially supporting this kind of industry, right? Which we can't have and we have to change. But we can only do this if we're conscious of it, if we're doing it together and we're doing it for everyone on this planet. Okay, bye.